Mastering Modal Verbs, The Art of Negative Forms and Questions Hello, language learners. Today, we'll be diving deep into modal verbs, focusing on negative forms and questions. Understanding these forms is crucial for conveying possibility and probability in English. Ready to unravel the mystery of modal verbs? Let's get started. Before we delve into the negative forms and questions, let's do a quick recap of modal verbs. They're auxiliary verbs that express necessity, ability, permission, or possibility. The common ones include can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, and must. Modal verbs have negative forms, which we typically use to express impossibility or unlikelihood. To make a modal verb negative, we usually add not after the modal verb. For example, can becomes can't, cannot, may becomes may not, must becomes must not, mustn't. Let's look at some examples. You can't swim in that lake. It's too dangerous. We may not finish the project on time due to some unforeseen issues. You mustn't feed the animals at the zoo. It's against the rules. Modal verbs also come in handy when asking questions, especially when inquiring about possibility or seeking permission. When forming questions, the modal verb usually comes before the subject. For example, can you swim? May I use your phone? Should we start the meeting now? Things get a little more interesting when we use negative forms in questions. These types of questions often seek confirmation of an assumption. They usually begin with the modal verb, followed by the subject, then not, and the verb. For example, can't you swim? Shouldn't we be going? Won't they be joining us? Note, in casual speech, it's common to contract the modal verb and not. For example, should not we be going, would usually be said as, shouldn't we be going? And there you have it. The art of using negative forms and questions with modal verbs. By mastering these forms, you'll be able to express possibility and probability with ease and precision. We hope this video has been helpful. Keep practicing, and you'll have these modal verbs down in no time. Happy learning!